didn't really want to make the video, but I told you I'd do one more video on translating and expressions, because I'm using translating, so it'll be expressions um, of going from a verbal expression down up to an algebraic expression. So um, I wanted to focus here on subtraction because uh, that's the one where most students I think are gonna get mixed up by. So uh, first thing, let's look at this one. This says 15, let's just example. This says 15 decreased by a number. So um, by, a, by a number. So a lot of students, they just go and write, well, they write, oh, 15. And then they say decreased by, well, what does that mean? Well, um, decreased by is subtraction. So they say, you know, 15 minus, and then twice a number. And they know twice, usually they remember that's multiplied to a number they can write in any variable they want. Here, I'll choose x. Now, the reason why this is incorrect, and like I said, you gotta really be careful with the order that you're doing your subtraction. This says 15 is decreased by. Um, so when I'm looking at that, you know, I can say, uh, you know, the amount of, you know, my age, to get to someone else's age, you have to decrease by 10. Well, that means you're gonna subtract 10 from my age to get their age. So actually what we have to do is we actually have to subtract 15. So again, um, and it's actually gonna be 2x minus 15. So you gotta be careful, when it says 15 decreased by, that actually means you're going to be subtracting 15 from whatever it's being dec decreased by, which in this case was twice a number, which represents um, twice. We look at, well, that's gonna be two, two times, that's actually not the multiplication, uh, but it's times twice um, a number. Then over here we have a different case of subtraction. This one says the difference of 10 and u. And I usually like to say that's a number, I don't really like writing uh, u. But uh, so if I was gonna say the difference of something, well I wanna, so what is, you're gonna subtract one from the other. So this would be 10 minus u. So there's a big difference on here. It said the difference of 10 and u. So I subtract 10 from u. But over here we actually had to switch them around to have it uh, to actually um, work for us. So just a couple things, you know, for translate expressions, just make sure when you guys are doing these, you're looking for what the signal words are and then how can you write them in. And the, you know, the basic case is, just remember when you have a number, that's gonna be a part of your verbal expression. Or when they're saying a number or a variable, you gotta make sure you write that in as well. And then from there, you just need to determine what operation are they asking us to do. So that's pretty much a quick little demonstration for how you do translate expressions.